guys and welcome back to my channel. For today I'm just going to be showing you guys a, sm a simple DIY on how to make your own photo canvases. You'll just need to pick up some canvases. I like to get these two 8x10 packs from like uh, Hobby Lobby when they're on sale for like $2.99. You'll need whatever photos you're going to be working with and some Mod Podge. I like to use a foam brush and you but you can use whatever brush you want. So you're going to want to take your canvas and kind of put it, place it over your photo so that you're getting the major part of the photo that you want on your canvas. Some photos are skewed to the left or to the right or there's more blank space. So you want to line it up so that you're getting the part that you actually want to show up onto the canvas and getting rid of any excess and trimming that off. So just trim that off to try to make sure it's as square as possible. Now a little tip for this is that you want it to cover the canvas but you don't want it to overhang on the edges. I have found that if you have a lot of overhang, it'll kind of curl up on the ends once it's done drying. Now you can fix that if that does happen with just a little bit of hot glue or any kind of simple glue. Actually just wait till it's done drying and then afterwards you can just adjust and fix it as you go. Once you've got that size to your canvas though, you're going to want to just put one coat of your Mod Podge, like a thin layer, onto the canvas just to give something for the photo to stick to. It's going to give it like a little tacky back for you to adhere your photo to. It doesn't really have to be perfect because it's not going to really show up very much but I do recommend that you saturate the entire canvas and then so you want to kind of focus on the ends the corners which it put a little bit of extra Mod Podge there and you'll find that you'll get better results and that way when it starts to curl up you'll have something a little more sticky for it to kind of grab to to weigh it down so you'll want to place your photo on here it doesn't matter which way lay it on smooth it out a little bit the, any discoloration or any kind of imperfections that you have on it or if you, like, you get a smear on it while you're doing this is fine because we're just going to be covering it up with another layer of Mod Podge anyways. And now is a good time to note that yes, I know my nails and my hands are awful. I've been doing lots of DIYs and they are ratchet. Sorry. Fix that on another day, another DIY. Anyways, back to today's project. So now that I've got that on there, you'll see that the edges are curling up a lot, but that's okay. I'm also trying to prevent any of the Mod Podge that's pouring out from getting any chunks. Sometimes some like little chunks that have dried up or something will get in there. You'll see here it looks like stringy. That will dry up and clump into your photo if that's left behind. So at least make sure you've got all your chunks out and then you're going to want to smooth out your Mod Podge all the way across your photo. And you want to kind of do this quickly. I'd say you've got about 30 seconds to a minute to really work with the Mod Podge before it starts to get tacky. So work it around, be really firm on those edges. Remember we put some extra Mod Podge underneath so that way it has something to stick to. So you just really wanna make sure you're pushing it down to get that in there. If you need to add more, do it. You'll find if it's not sticking very well, it's probably because there's not a lot of enough product there. So add some more product, clean up your edges because anything that dries on the edges is going to be seen. And also another tip for you guys, if you don't want to have white edges, you can pre-paint the edges of the canvas. Like say you want it to be a color like black or silver, or you want to add some sort of decoupage of photos or some sort of decorative paper to the side, whatever, Mod Podge is great for that too. So pre-do that before you add your photo and then add your photo on and do these same steps afterwards. So once that's done, like I said, some of these corners are just finicky and don't want to work well. So you'll just go back and make any adjustments, but you'll notice here, it's been about a minute and it's already starting to get tacky. So when I try to move it, it's kind of pulling up the product and giving it kind of a funny effect. So be quick. You've got, like I said, 30 seconds to a minute, and then you want to put that aside and allow it to dry. Now it's going to go through a lot of different color changes while it's drying. It will look blotchy, spotty. Sometimes you'll see different hues or tints or colors during the process, but don't worry that's going to change once it's thoroughly dried. That just means that there were thicker or thinner spots of the Mod Podge and it's just taking longer to dry in different areas. So it's not really going to affect the overall outlook. Now I will say that if you, um, for instance, get water or the Mod Podge sits too heavily in a certain spot before you've evened it out, like if it doesn't have like an even first layer, you might notice that it just might look a little discolored in certain areas and others. But if you add another layer of Mod Podge to the top, that generally will kind of conceal or cover up any kind of uh, blemishes that you have. So again, I'm just doing another quick one the same way. This one, I decided to add a lot of extra Mod Podge underneath because I found that I just was, I kept having to go back on the last photo. So this one actually went a lot smoother by adding a lot of extra Mod Podge 
underneath before laying the photo down. Like I noticed my edges didn't curl up nearly as bad and then I kind of started out by pressing those edges down first and foremost to like make sure that I had a good structure to it. And then again, get out any kind of clumps or strings where that's dried because you don't want that to dry in your photo. And also your photo, once it's dry, it's going to kind of have the streaks or the designs that you have in your brush stroke. So you're going to want to pay attention to that. Like for instance, I made sure that I did all of my brush strokes in a horizontal manner at the end. Like I made sure they were all going left to right or right to left, whatever. So I got a nice smooth finished look and that they were all going to be cohesive. You could go up and down, left and right. You could go at angles. It doesn't matter. But I just personally recommend if you do one one way and you want them all to look the same, to do them all in the same direction that you're going to have the photo facing. Um, it's going to take some time to dry. You'll see here that there are certain spots that are drying faster than others and that's just what I was trying to point out. So don't think that you've damaged your photo and that it's discolored or anything. It's just taking longer to dry in certain areas than others. So I recommend giving it a full day, maybe even two, to allow the Mod Podge to dry depending on how thick of a layer you did or how many layers you end up doing. You can also get the Mod Podge in different finishes such as gloss or matte. I chose the matte for this particular project. And then these are so lightweight that you can hang them up to something as simple as a thumbtack. Of course you can use nails or whatever, but I find thumbtacks are just as efficient. You can rearrange them to make different types of gallery styles. You can hang them on shelves. You can just place them against the wall and hang them and stack them, layer them. It's really fun and easy project to do. Even the kids can help you and get involved. You can do them in color. I chose black and white just because of the different color scheme that I'm going for in my living room, which I'm currently working on. I'm doing a 100 days DIY challenge, and so I'm currently in the second week, and here are some of the DIYs you can look forward to. I've got a bench that I found at the flea market for 20 bucks that I am going to be, or already did, redo and I have turned it into like a purple coffee table type bench for our living room and then I am also redone an ottoman that it was in really bad condition so that the best thing that I could do was reupholster it so I turned that into like a pink fuzzy ottoman. I hope you guys enjoy and I can't wait to see you on the next one. Bye!